The Carolina Panthers hired a new secondary coach. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any video from my channel. Yo! Want to have TV? Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your with things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And guys, don't forget to hit the bell notification, man. When you see the squeaking lines, you know you'll be notified. So definitely hit the bell notification. Uh, you know, and guys, we got a lot to talk about today. Uh, first of all, we got to talk about David Tipper and, and his breakdown of his first season as the owner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he said some things that I don't necessarily agree with, so I definitely got to talk about that. Uh, the Carolina Panthers also got a new secondary coach. I definitely want to talk about that one. And my man Cam Newton said some things, man, about being a mentor that I definitely want to touch on. So we got a lot of things to talk about today, guys. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is David Tipper saying he wants to stay with Ron Rivera and Marty Herney. Now, the Ron Rivera thing, I'm okay with. Like I said, I think Ron's a good coach. I think he deserves his job. I think, you know, he's been pretty good over the year and stabilized our franchise a lot and been to the Super Bowl and won coach a year like twice. So he's definitely a good coach. I definitely think he needs another opportunity. But the Marty Herney thing, I am not for. I'm not with that at all. Marty Herney basically got hired on because he was friends with Jerry Richardson. That's, that's just to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he was qualified for the job. He already showed that he wasn't qualified for the job. Now, mind you, yes, did he draft DJ Moore? Yes. Did he draft Dante Jackson? Yes. Did he draft Ian Thomas? Yes. But a lot of his free agents didn't really pan out. Dontari Poe was uh, basically an upset this whole season. Ross Cocker got injured. You know what I'm saying? And some people say injury's not his fault. But you still decided to, to you know, dive money in him instead of Bashar Breeden, who had an injury. But he wasn't out for the whole season. Whereas Ross Cockrell was out for the whole season. Okay, whatever. And then you got the Norris Cersei, who also had concussions. Even though Eric Reed was out there, he could have signed him from the very beginning. But whatever, again. So those three pickups in, in themselves are bad. He didn't find a way to get rid of Matt Khalil. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if he's, he will yet, but he hasn't done that. And just overall, like... I feel like he didn't make any trades during the trade deadline to make our team better and kind of would you know help out our secondary because our secondary was was you know getting turnovers was, but but was pretty bad the whole year. So I felt like he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do in the trade deadline. I felt like he would have acted, you know, what I'm saying and actually at least traded our third round pick to get somebody or whatever. Because again, I think we'll get a congressional third round pick for Andrew Norwell. Did not have been a smart idea, but he didn't do anything. He stood pat, you know, what I'm saying and then after that point, our team went to. You know, women in the tubes. We all know that. So, Marty Herney, I definitely don't think he still deserves his job. I think there's way better GMs that we could get. Especially because, you know, I want a GM, like I said, the Eagles. You know what I'm saying? Or or the Rams. Or, or you know, and just in general, a GM that's going to make moves and try to win. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, we don't know how long this, like, you know, Des David Tipper said you want to you know, build a team for the long haul. Cool. No problem. But we don't know how long this window of ours is going to stay open. Cam Newton's getting older in these years. Veterans are leaving. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Christian McCaffrey is a baller. And yes, Cam, I st still think he has you know a lot in the tank left. You know, yes, DJ Moore is a good receiver and Curtis Samuel is a good receiver. But <clears throat> remember, they're all getting older. And then the NFC is never going to get easier. You know what I'm saying? The NFC South doesn't look like it's going to get any easier. So we got to attack while the iron's hot, man. So hopefully, man... Now, I don't know, man. I definitely think Marty Herney shouldn't have his job. I think we should, you know, look to get another GM. But I do understand that, you know, you don't want to do that in the offseason. I think he should have did it during the regular season so that GM would be acclimated to the team. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's going to be hard because if you fire him now, you got to look for another GM. You got to, you know, hire a GM and basically have him, you know, analyze the, you know, free agency and the draft in a very short amount of time. But I digress. But like I said, man, Marty Herney, I don't think, deserves another opportunity. I think... We've seen, you know, the best he has to offer, and he's and it's not that great. But, you know, David Tipper wants to get – I think Ron Rivera and Marty Herney are, you know, joined at the hip, and I kind of feel that's unfair because Ron has been a good coach. I don't think he should be kind of brung, brung down by Marty Herney, and I think Marty Herney's doing that. So, I feel like, man, David Tipper basically saying that if they do bad next year, Marty Herney and Ron Rivera are both out the door, which I feel like Ron deserves better than that. I feel like he's a good coach, but Marty Herney has not shown to be a good GM, in my opinion. And the second thing I want to talk about is the Carolina Panthers hired Perry Fuel to be their secondary coach, right? Now, mind you, this is a great hire, right? This is a great hire. But my only issue is 
I think he should be the defensive coordinator and not the secondary coach. Now, check this out, right? This guy's resume is impressive. I mean, he coached Ron Rivera in the 2005 Bears. You know what I'm saying? He helped him, I guess, on the deep, you know, as a defensive coordinator. He was the defensive coordinator for the um, Giants when they won the Super Bowl, I think, between 2010 to 2014. So he's a Super Bowl winning uh, coach, whatever, for, as a defensive coordinator. And he played, he was a secondary coach for the Jaguars, you know, last the last two years. And they had far and away the best, you know what I'm saying, passing, uh, you know, statistics. I mean, they had, you know, those number one in, in passing yards allowed and all types of stuff. So he has an extensive resume of being a good defensive coordinator, good secondary coach, right? And we have Eric Washington, who isn't a good defensive coordinator. And he's just a defensive coordinator in name only because Ron Rivera is calling the plays. And what it sounds like is that he got him there because he can help Ron, help Eric Washington become a better defensive coordinator. I'm not with that. I'm not with that. I want him to be defensive coordinator, if anything. His resume speaks for itself. He is a Charlotte native. Oh, he was a Carolina native. He's not from Charlotte. But he's a Carolina native. And, you know what I'm saying, he know he plays, he's a good defensive coordinator. Like, he won a Super Bowl as a defensive coordinator, you know what I'm saying, for the Giants. He had the freaking Jaguars secondary looking amazing. Now, mind you, obviously, they have good players, too. I'm not saying they don't. But the schemes were good, you know what I'm saying. Now, mind you, I do understand why he wants him to be a secondary coach so he can help out Dante Jackson, James Bradbury, Eric Reed, you know, and whoever else we get in safety. But I think he still do that as a physical coordinator, you know what I'm saying, because... For me, we need a D coordinator. I don't want Ron Rivera, like I said before, worrying about defense. I think he should have that position. So I'm happy that he's on the team. I'm happy that, you know, Perry Fuel got a job with the Carolina Panthers. I'm really happy about that. But I think it's in the wrong capacity. He should be the defensive coordinator and not a secondary coach, in my opinion. And finally, my man Cam Newton said he wanted to be a mentor to Lamar Jackson. When Lamar Jackson got drafted, he gave his number to Ozzie Newsom and told Ozzie, hey, Here's my number. Tell Lamar to hit me up, you know what I'm saying, so I can you know, talk to him, whatever. So Cam wants to be a, a mentor. He said he wants to be an outlet for him, you know what I'm saying, being an African-American quarterback in this league and, you know, knowing how it is, right? Now, my thing is this. I'm all fine with Cam being a mentor if he's going to talk about being a running quarterback and all that stuff. But as far as being an African-American, I feel like he flip-flops too much for that role, in my opinion. He, you know, which he's done. You know what I'm He said, you know, one thing about being a black quarterback. Then he says, ah, but it's only, you know, one, one thirteenth of your skin or whatever it was. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if he can really, you know, give that advice. Now, mind you, yeah, you could talk about, you know, being a running quarterback. You could talk about, you know, trials, tribulation, and people doubting you as far as that. That's fine. Cool. No pressure. But being a black quarterback... I don't know, man. Are you do you really want to take out that title? Because you said before that you you know it didn't really matter. That you said on an interview it didn't really matter at one point when you said before that that it didn't matter. So I don't know what he wants to do. He flip flops a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Cam's my man, but you can't you can't be doing that, bro. You can't be like I, I want to help him as a black quarterback, but then be like oh, but it doesn't really matter to be a black quarterback. You know, if you're on that side, you're on that side. If you're not, you're not. Don't don't be flip flopping like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, if y'all don't know. Lamar Jackson is from Broward County, you feel me, Florida, and um, I'm from Broward County, Florida. Now, mind you, do I know Lamar? Not at all, but he's from Broward County, you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know what I'm saying, I obviously am rooting for him to do good in his career because he's from Broward County, you know what I'm saying? We got to rock with Broward County, but like I said, Cam, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? You are a black quarterback, you know, I respect it. I think, you know what I'm saying, yes, there's trials and tribulations at being a black quarterback, I'm pretty sure, you know, it is what it is, but... Do you really want to take that role? Plus, my other issue with Cam as far as this. Should you be mentoring right now where when you have this shoulder injury going on and, you know, you got all this other stuff going on trying to, you know, get back to a Super Bowl and all that stuff like that. Should you be mentoring right now? Is this the best time to be doing this? Now, mind you, he's already been a mentor for Deshaun Watson, you know what I'm saying, since I think Clemson days or even before that. He knew him for a while. I think he went to his football camp before, so... It is what it is. But like I said, this is this the right time to be worrying about that camp? Is this the right time to be want to be an outlet for somebody else? I think that's something you should be doing more when you're, you know, retired or, you know, when you're, you know, about to leave the league, not when you're in the prime of your career. And he's still in his prime, in my opinion. So, Cam, as much as I understand why you want to help somebody out, 
you want to look out, whatever. You still got to worry about your career. And mentoring, I don't think is the best, you know, situation for you currently, especially going with a soldier situation and, you know, not playing the best you have in your career. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I understand, Cam, you want to look out. You know what I'm saying? And that, you know, that you're just being a good dude. But as a Panthers fan, I want you to be worried about your shoulder. I want you to be worried about, you know what I'm saying, taking care of yourself and being ready for the season next year. That's just me. Well, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and TikTok and wherever else. And guys, get in the comment section. How do you feel about David Tipper saying Marty Hearn is going to be our GM for the long haul or for this season in general? Um, I'm not cool with it. I think Marty Herney is uh, not a good GM. I think Ron Rivera showed himself to be a good coach, but Marty Herney has not shown himself to be a good GM. So I'm not with it, but let me know how, how y'all feel in the comment section. Also, let me know how you feel about Perry Fuel getting a secondary coaching job. Like I said, I think he should be a coach, just the physical coordinator, not the secondary coach. I think his resume speaks for itself, and he deserves it. And Eric Washington is only the physical coordinator in name anyways. Um, also, let me know how you feel about Cam Noon being a mentor to Lamar Jackson. You think it's a good idea, bad idea? Should you just focus on working on your shoulder and getting healthy? Let me know in the comment section also. And guys, don't forget to cop some LKM TV apparel. Shirts, hats, mugs, all types of cool stuff. That link's in the description below. Valentine's Day is coming up. Cop your shorty, you know what I'm saying, a nice LKM TV shirt. Rep the squad. You already know what it is. Uh, check out the Patreon page. That link's also in the description below. You know what I'm saying? Exclusive content, blue reel, shout outs, all kinds of cool stuff. Definitely check out the Patreon page. And, you know, so share with Panther family, friends, you might have Panther you might football related, anybody in NFL related, let them know, let them know El Camera TV's rocking Panther Nation, Panther Nation rocking El Camera TV. Thank y'all for showing love and tuning in. Like I said, I haven't been posting as much, but I've been trying to get this other channel, you know, up and running, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's just me, so bear with me, man, and, you know what I'm saying? And thank y'all for always, you know, tuning in and showing love, you know what I'm saying? Y'all the El Camera TV fam, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm starting calling y'all fam because... Y'all like family, man. So thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for showing love. Thank y'all for always rocking with the boy. And I'm going to see y'all next time.